Hey, this morning on Breakfast Television, we're out uh, kayak fishing on First Lake. We'll tell you all about it coming up later, right here on BT. Yeah, my name is John Gibson. I'm from Canadian Kayak Anglers. We're on First Lake, and you're watching Breakfast Television. Don't you know my friendship? Well, this morning Cyril is out on the lake and he's fishing for some smallmouth bass. Yeah, he's doing it with a kayak from the Canadian Kayak Anglers. Hey, welcome to uh, First Lake here in uh, Lower Sahaco and uh, we're out with the Canadian Kayak Anglers and uh, I want to introduce you to Jeff Goodrow. And uh, Jeff, we're uh, all set and ready to go. We're going to hit the water here in just a little bit. But let's talk a little bit about this association because this is a really neat and great way to go fishing, isn't it? Yeah, for sure. It's uh, Canadian Kayak Anglers is a website, uh, a forum that basically guys get together and share their fishing experiences from across the country. Uh, right now we probably have about uh, 900 members and uh, we share our fishing experiences, you know, daily, weekend fishing and everything else. Uh, guys normally fish off these types of craft here, uh, sit on top kayaks, but uh, the industry is growing and there's all kinds of new products coming out and uh, you can see some of the other guys in, uh, in actually pedal craft and uh, hybrid canoe kayaks. Um, it's a growing sport and Canadian Kayak Anglers is, is both the biggest, uh, biggest website out there in Canada anyways for guys getting together. Yeah, and uh, you know, you and I were talking a little bit earlier, it's also uh, very green too. There's no motors, there's no trolling motors. I mean, you know, basically it's uh, people power and you can really get out there and get close to the action with, uh, without needing to uh, use any fuel or anything. True that, it's very, uh, very intimate. You can get into the fish and you can get access to areas that normal motorboats don't actually get into. All kinds of, I mean, you don't have to find a boat launch. You can carry it out and portage into little areas and so the intimacy, the intimacy factor is a big, uh, a big thing, and uh, no insurance, so it's cheap. Yeah. And yeah, so it's definitely. Uh, get yourself a kayak, get yourself a tackle box and a rod, and you're ready to go. You're ready to go. Yeah. All right. Okay. Speaking of which, we're gonna hit the lake. We're gonna do some fishing. Uh, we'll see you out in the lake in just a little bit. But uh, a little bit later on, we are actually gonna show you some of the gear. You won't believe some of the gear that these kayaks have on them. So we'll see you back. Some say. Hi, I'm Jeff Goudreau with Canadian Kayak Anglers. We're out here on uh, First Lake in, uh, in Sackville, and you're watching uh, Breakfast Television. Good morning. LinkedIn on our live by there, 7.30. Not looking too bad there. Might looking be a good, good day on First for, Lake there as yeah, well. Yeah, might be a good day for fish kayaking. Come to the kayak, kayak ride, fishing. stay for the bass fishing. <laughs> I don't know if they catch anything. I guess we'll have to wait and find out. Yeah, there's uh, plenty of bass in that lake. Oh. I can tell you firsthand. Oh, really? In a little oh. chain of lakes. Yes. Oh, okay. So worm and a hook, that's all you need. That worm and a hook, that's it, eh? So you have that's experience. It. Yes, I do. You have experience with this. All right, well, let's find out from Tina if it would be a good... Your family fun guide is brought to you by A. We are going back to the lake now to check in with Cyril and see how his fishing is going. Yes, yeah, so I was hanging out with the kayak anglers and hoping to catch some smallmouth bass. Well, I'm getting lucky with uh, catching lots of grass here, but <laughs> Jeff is with me once again, and uh, Jeff, what are we looking for here? Because we're fishing smallmouth bass, correct? So we're looking for some cover, is that what we're looking for? Yeah, they're past their spawning stage, and they're kind of just uh, hanging out to structure and stuff, and there's just along here, there's a bunch of grassy rocks. And uh, there's all kinds of lakes around this part of this, uh, this part of the uh, province that uh, just hold a lot of nice smallmouth, and you're not too far from your house. And these kayaks are just awesome for that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they are great. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast here, and we'll see what happens. There we go. I've thrown my line into the lake. I'm uh, hopefully gonna come up with a smallmouth bass. But uh, what kind of bait would you uh, want to be using this time of year, Jeff? Um, if you don't know the water, you want to be casting a bunch of search baits like uh, spinners, spinner baits. Um, once you kind of get an understanding of the structure that you're dealing with, it's uh, it's nice to be able to finesse the baits a bit so you can use some plastic worms and stuff, stuff right. like now, that. Now what about... Uh uh, worms. It's like, do the fish prefer live bait, or will they pretty much go anything that's well scented? Uh, 
No, I wouldn't say that they're really into the scent. Uh, you know, that's not the, the, the key thing or anything like that. But, I mean, there's a time and place for, for bait fishing. Right. Um, you know, bait fishing oftentimes is, is good uh, for for when you're just wanting to stay, stay stationary. You got one? I may have one. Good stuff. I may have one, Jeff. I may, I may have one. Or I may have some grass. Again. <laughs> some more grass? Yeah, some more grass. Uh, all right. Listen, we're going to keep fishing, and we'll see you back here at First Lake in just a little bit. <laughs> I'm the grass man. Uh, honey. Oh, oh. oh. Hi, my name is Mike Malley. I'm with the Adventure Outfitters, and you're watching Breakfast Television. Paddle on, Mike. Paddle on. St. John there. Well, the Canadian kayak anglers have taken Cyril out fishing this morning. Yeah, they're hoping to get some smallmouth bass, but Sai is not having much luck. Thank you. Hey, welcome back to uh, First Lake. Jeff and I still out here uh, hoping to land that big lunker, Jeff. But uh, this sport really is growing, isn't it? Sure is. Yeah, in the last three years, we've grown up to 900 members on the site, and Canada has just blown up. We've got uh, this year, we had five different events across Canada, kayak fishing tournaments. We had one here in Nova Scotia. And uh, next year, we're looking to expand, and we're going to probably have about eight events, one in Montreal, another one in the uh, Ottawa area, and one up where I'm going to be, up in Yellowknife. So oh, it's up in Yellowknife. Yeah. Now, what will you be fishing up there? Big uh, pike and lake trout. Nice. Pike are like a bigger version of uh, your resident chain pickerel. Now, speaking of uh, fishing, of course, uh, we got uh, some folks to thank this morning, too, for letting us uh, use some of their gear, eh? Yeah, we got uh, the Adventure Outfitters lent us the boats uh, today. They, uh, they're the local fishing uh, kayak fishing store and they, uh, they they support our events canadian kayak angler events and they're pretty much the uh, the number one store around to get any information on on boats and and any products you, that are available all right and how can folks get uh, more information off your website if you uh, hit up uh, www.canadiankayakanglers.com uh, we've got a load of stuff information about anywhere in canada so uh, yeah hit up the site and uh, join the, the community and uh, we'll we'll hook you up all right, all right. Well, listen, uh, Jeff and I are going to continue to fish, but uh, in a little bit we're going to take you inshore and just show you some of the unbelievable gear that the guy, these guys have on their kayaks. So we'll see you back here in First Lake in just a little bit. Oh, I think I got, I got a lunker! No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hopefully I'll get one. Oh, dear. He caught more grass. <laughs> than bass. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, he has one more shot at it, so we'll see how he does there. It looks to be fun, whether you catch him there or not. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the whole thing day. about fishing, right? It's yeah. Sometimes it's just spending the time out on the water yeah. on a nice day, right? Nice, quiet, peaceful time. Uh, you know, in the world of fishing, you kind of never know what's going to happen, and you never know yeah. what you're going to catch. I have a little fishing story for you now. It's about a a live interview that went kind of went horribly wrong. A live for, interview? Yeah, for okay. Australia's Today Show. The backstory is here, I should say, is that there was a residential lake and some uh, people in the area said they, had, they saw a shark in this residential lake, which would, of course, be a, a big news story if it indeed happened. So they got a shark expert out live at the lake uh, there for the Australian Today Show okay, to sense. talk about, you know, the Can possibility that there could be a shark there and whatnot. And uh, and he had a, a fishing rod with him. And I should let you know, no animals were were seriously harmed in this. But but take a look at what happened. Oh, live television. Yeah. I'm gonna give you one chance to catch this shark. Um, you've got one chance and one chance only. Off you go. All right. Well. If I had a, if I had a, a Merrill candidate down no, no in the excuses. water, I'd probably do all right. No excuses. Off you go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here we go. Excellent cast. We'll just wait for the lure to land. Still going. There we go. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. It's out there. And it's coming. Yeah, there we go. We've got a... you got a duck. I've got a bird. <laughs> i got a bird. i got a... Oh, no. Oh, Oh, no. I'd, I'd go to That's another enough. shot. Okay, okay, stop now, stop now. Stop yeah. now, stop now, stop now. That's enough. He can't stop. He has to bring it in, right? <laughs> oh, my oh, gosh. That didn't, well, did that didn't end well, did it? No. Now, luckily... The uh, the folks at the Today Show in Australia uh, did post on their Facebook page later that uh, 
the duck was okay. And speaking of sharks, they didn't even this show it. It's like a kayaker in the U.S. who caught the big one and jumped. There, there's a shark there. On the kayak. Yeah. 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 What yeah, is look he at that, thinking? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Why would you think that's story? a good yeah. idea? See, when we talk fish kayaking, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, not not a good idea. What yeah. are you doing? I'm more amazed at that than catching the duck. What the heck? There, the, the, the duck's okay. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Awkward. So luckily we haven't had anything like that happen with Cyril out fishing from his kayak. I'm more amazed at that guy pulling up that shark than I am about the guy catching the duck. The duck. It was just one of those things where it's just everything just started going wrong. Downhill. Yeah. We've all had days like yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. So there you go. But people were quite concerned about the duck, but it's, it was okay. It's okay. So, quack, quack. Yeah, we're okay. We'll be right back in a few minutes. <laughs> If you're looking for a new way to go fishing, you might want to try a kayak. Yeah, that was what Sarah was doing this morning, and you wouldn't believe how much gear they can take a kayak. Hey, welcome back to uh, First Lake. You're taking a look at the uh, little duckling that was actually nibbling on John Gibson's boot here a little while ago. But we're back on shore now, and uh, John, I was telling folks earlier, we're going to talk a little bit about the gear, but this is your kayak and your gear. Yes. And uh, we'll, we'll start at the stern back here. You got a lot, a lot of room for gear here. You got four rods on here, you got lots of tackle, but uh, everything you need, right? Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, and you can do just about anything in these. We fish uh, a lot of fresh water, and I also fish a lot of salt water too, which one's really nice. Yeah. Uh, this holds up well. Um, I mean, you can gear this up pretty much any way you want. Uh, I use my tank wheel specifically to hold my gear, my lures. And right, my so you got like a milk crate there that's bungee yeah. onto the tank well. You got some tubes for your rods and stuff and all your tackle in there. Then you even got an anchor here as well, so if you want to just sit and you know, do a little fishing, you can. Yeah, the, the wind really pushes these things around, so in order to, if you want to really focus on a particular spot, it's a good way to just keep yourself uh, you know, stationary, so you don't have to really fly around. Now, the other thing, too, that John, John's a little high tech here as well, because you know, you, you, you've got your fish finder and everything up here as well, right? Yeah, yeah uh, this is, it's perfect for, you know, we've got to try and keep as many advantages as we can in these things, so you can try to find structure and uh, right. temperature and whatnot to see, you know, what we're doing and try to get out of the fish. And you also got your camera mounted there, uh, what looks like on a little unipod, because when you haul in that walker, John, you gotta take a picture, right? That's right. <laughs> that looked great. Okay, now, uh, I was teasing you earlier, saying, you know, that you're cheating with the fish finder, but really, they are, they are really useful, aren't they? Especially yeah. even just the hooker cover, if not for the fish. Yeah, oh, well, I mean, they, they tell you a lot of information. I don't really rely on it so much. I try not to, anyways, uh, for actually finding fish. But, uh, you know, it tells you, you know, if there's particular drop-offs in the lake, the temperature and whatnot. Because, you know, even in a small lake like this, the temperature does change. Yeah. And it is relevant to the fish. So it's All right. Well, there you go. Listen, uh, thanks a lot for uh, doing this with me. And don't forget, it is the uh, the Canadian uh, Kayak Anglers uh, website. Check it out for more information. Get yourself uh, a kayak and some tackle and a rod. Mm -hmm. Hit the lakes and waterways like these guys have. And uh, we'll see it a little bit later on. I think I'm going to get back in the boat and we'll do some more fishing, John. Yeah. Let's go. All right. You know, I always wanted to try kayak, but I've never done it. You said you tried, right? I love it. Yeah, it's relaxing. Well, it depends how you do it, right? Because there are kayakers who like want to get out there and take on the big waves and stuff, and, and that's cool. That's very cool. But I like the more relaxing side of it. Yeah, I think I would enjoy yeah. that. You can see the birds and you know fish life and somewhere yeah. in between. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Just to get your exercise. Yeah, it's and then. Hardcore. But yeah, you get in really good shape. It's a lot of ab work. It's all in it your is. Ass. Yeah, it's all in your abs. Um, abs. Yeah. So. And some are in the kayaks. Well, but but you're, not gonna, you're not gonna get very far if you just rely on your... Yes. Yeah. We should mention that Cyril did not catch anything, unfortunately. But <laughs> as soon as he left, they what? did catch something. So there we go. That was caught after Cyril was gone there by one of the uh, kayak fishers. And that one as well. Wow. So it seems like in order to have success on a fishing trip, you need to not take Cyril with you. <laughs> <laughs> Big fish. Did you see the 
gear in that tire? I know. I mean, not only do you have four fishing rods, but all the gear. Yeah. And fish finder. I hope that's waterproof. And yes. they are. Yeah, the cameras are waterproof, of course. Um, and and there they have to take a uh, uh, have a ruler with them because it's catch and release. So in order to have, of course, evidence that you caught the big fish, you said you caught. Right. You take a picture with with it on the ruler so that you can then prove it wasn't just a big fish tail. Although, yeah. yeah. How about that? Yeah. Although you could always borrow someone else's photo and say it was your fish. Sure you could. Yeah. Let's stop him. We're hoping there's a honest dude. <laughs> Feature feature. A big weekend for snails this weekend in Northern England. Take a look at this. It was the